from my trip from Philly and I realized that I didn't get to do a pack me, a pack with me video. So that's what I'm doing today. You're going to see how I pack my bag and um, things that I, that I have to have, things that are good to have, and um, basically just to prepare you because my first time actually traveling outside of the city, I didn't have an idea on how to pack my bag. So, yeah, so I'm just going to give you a few tips on things that you can put in your bag that can help you move with ease and grace on your journey of becoming a traveling hairstylist. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So right here, I have my suitcase. This is actually like a small size suitcase. Uh, it has different compartments on it. Front, I use this front one for personal things, and then I didn't use the second one. But, yeah, so this is the suitcase. Like I said, I'm probably going to be getting a new one soon because the wheels just be, look at, doing the most. Yeah, your girl needs to be rolling with ease and grace. So. Okay, so here I have, in this first bag is my the things that i use for when i first get to where i'm going my setup kit so inside of my setup kit i have that there okay so what i have here this is the first bag and this is the bag that's actually at the top of the um that i have at the top of my suitcase just because it's the first one i'm gonna have to pull out and this is my setup bag and Okay, first thing I have is a mat. Now, this mat is for your hot tools. So, I have this at the top, and I fit this out first. And then, I have my pile to sit my combs, brushes, and hair clips or, and things like that on. Um, you want to use a mat or a towel to put your hot stuff on because if you put your hot stuff down on somebody's, like, on something that can be um, ruined. You don't want to mess up people's stuff. So put your hot tools down on the hot tool pad. Uh, and also in here, I have an extra towel. And then I have these neck strips. Um, neck strips. And then also I have cakes. I have two cakes. Uh, I have alcohol. Where's my alcohol? I normally have like a little spray bottle of alcohol in there so that way like um i can spray my hands or like spray a cake um somebody has some lysol in there some lysol in their um kits and i think a lysol is good to have so i'll probably be adding that to my kit soon let's see i also have a first aid kit um in this one and this actually did come in handy the last time at philly fashion week somebody cut their fingers so and there was no band-aids so yeah band-aids never know um i have a surge protector and an extension cord so you want to have these two things because sometimes you can be in places with a lot of people that are like other stylists and there are only a limited amount of outlets so you want to be on the safe side and have these. Um, pretty much everybody had them. Had them. So we didn't necessarily have to use some some people. Like I was sitting next to um, two two ladies and we shared one. So I wasn't. I didn't have to use mine, but I did use my extension cord. So it's just good to have both of those. The second bag. I'm not gonna go all the way into each detail. This is actually my spray bottle. I put water in there. I have some hair, hair strips. you might need a band I have some thread two different colors of thread I have some wig clips and I got these because I actually had to use some on a shoot and I didn't have any thankfully my mentor had some so 
yeah, I'm gonna keep those in my bag because you never know. I got um, some nail glue. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing any nails, but hey, you never know. I have this spray, a little gel adhesive, and I have some needles in here somewhere. If not, then I need to put some in there. No, what are my needles? Oh, there's my alcohol spray. And let's see hair glues and a couple of hair accessories. Actually, I some more accessories. These are just, you know, you never know, just to poof something up. Maybe you might need a little volume in a bun. So that's for that. And so far, that's what I have in my in my weed kit or my extension kit or just my stuff kit, <laughs> my random stuff kit. This is my hairpin box and it has two sides to it. On the other side, I have rubber bands and the bungees. These worked out really good. This one guy had locks and so I was able to tie this all around his um, his locks instead of having to like pull them together to make with a, with a rubber band, elastic band. So it worked out, it worked out so much because you could just hook it in and take it around and it was class, fast, it was quick. Um, shout out to Jania because Jania is my mentor. Shout out to her for re recommending these because they did come in handy. Here we have some rubber bands and some clips, some more little clips. So my hot tools, I also have my blow dryer and my peanuts hot tools i have a diffuser well that's not well that's more so for the blow dryer but i have a diffuser i have this curling iron a waving curling iron and a crinkle curling iron i have a regular curling iron let's see what inch is this i'm not sure but yeah this is the size um blow dryer and it has a pointer on it along with the diffuser um then also i have my flat irons right here small ones and i have a small pair of curling irons uh, i also have the regular pair of flat irons the regular inch but these are the small ones i just took them out of my bag and that's that so next i have this container here um in this container i have a few crocodile clips some duck bill clips and these clips are really really good for um for not having a crease in them they're like the creaseless clips for like waves and things like that and um these are my shears and my cutting scissors i have my my threading needle or threading hook and then i also have like those small clips so yes this is what that four two three story container consists of and then i also have more rubber bands and those are like clear and all the different little colors right here I have my ring light. And so this is like a ring light that I can just set up in front of me. It's very small, I, but I really love that I could just set it up right in, like right above my station. There, so it's perfect for like small spaces and especially when you have a lot of people around and you're not trying to take up a lot of space. This is a perfect little ring light for that. Let's see, I have also my comb and my brush box i have i have like a detangling brush i love this brush a paddle brush paddle brush i have a smoothing brush a tooth comb another smoothing brush small comb a small tooth comb and a medium tooth comb and then i have edge brushes in here a little small comb like this also, with that alcohol, you can use that to spray your combs in between your uh, models or whatever you're doing. That way you can have barbicide with you present. 
Okay, also I have, last of all, I have some beads, you know. I actually did not intend on using these beads. I just had them in there. I probably was going to use them for myself. <laughs> but I just had them in there. But um, it came in handy because one of the girls had like a one lock in, there, in her hair. And so I was able to put a bead at the end of it um and it gave it some flat. um that includes this video for today that is um that's everything that i took with me um during philly fashion week and my kit my kit is going to continue to grow and i'm going to continue to grow so yes thank you for watching with me and thank you for joining me on my journey this is our journey and I hope this video helped some of you out there, especially if you were inspired to become a traveling stylist. I didn't know what to put in my kit. So, um, but this is a starter kit for anybody who's starting in the profession of becoming a traveling stylist. So I hope this video was informative to you all and um, write in the comments some things that you might need help or guidance in so I can get some inspiration on some things you might wanna know about me and my journey. Um, but yes, you all make sure you all like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I want to do more of these. I'm getting comfortable talking in front of the camera. Bear with me, bear with me because it took me everything, everything in me to like actually make this video. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make this video for y'all because this, I know this can help somebody. So I hope you all enjoy. Okay. Peace. <laughs> I'm out. Bye.